And I really do believe that the people here will have a huge impact on the future of life on the planet. Singularity University was founded in 2009 to prepare young leaders about the future technologies that are changing humanity. Basically, all the new technologies from biotech to nanotech, artificial intelligence that are converging in the next 20 years and that will radically change humanity. And how we can use these technologies to improve the human condition. Uh, my name is Justine Lamb and I'm a participant in the graduate students program at Singularity University. My name is Chinya Rembachu and I'm here for the Graduate Studies Program 2011. My name is Brinkley Warren and I'm from Athens, Georgia and the reason I'm here at Singularity University this year is to meet a bunch of really awesome, innovative, entrepreneurial people to change the world in a positive way. Uh, the founders of the university are Ray Kurzweil, who is very famous precisely because of his book The Singularity is Near, that was published in 2005 and it is a best seller in science and technology. And, uh, and the other co-founder is Peter Diamandis, who, who is also very famous as the founder of the X Prize Foundation. Since Singularity University opened in the summer of 2009 uh, as an experiment, as a startup university with only 40 students, uh, we have been growing and expanding our programs. Well, um, the team project that I'm on is called the MatterNet, and what we're doing is trying to revolutionize transportation for the billion people in the world that are in poverty and without access to good roads, that can't get their goods to market, can't get medicines, can't be part of a participant in the global econ economic system. So we want to leapfrog road systems, which cost a lot, and create autonomous flying vehicles and network of them called the MatterNet. Drones or UAVs, or autonom autonomous aerial vehicles aren't only useful for the military and actually can be helpful for promoting peace and commerce. Uh, we are working on a con uh, concentrated photovoltaic uh, solar cells. You can use it uh, worldwide. We can use it for the um, people without access to electricity, people with access but they don't have money to buy generators. We can use it in for like the army people when they are going for camping. In the Western world, they can, anybody can use it. Okay, so our project is called PrimerLife.com, and basically what it is is a social platform that delivers personalized well-being advice. For instance, a user might come to our site. They might be a 29-year-old, pretty healthy person. Um, they would be asked to uh, take some surveys, and these surveys range from personality quizzes, career quizzes, uh, information about their emotional intelligence, so really all different kinds of aspects of their well-being. Um, in addition, they could upload their genetic information if they've gotten their genome uh, tested from 23andMe or one of these other kind of uh, companies. And so what we do is we take all of that data and we use uh, artificial intelligence to deliver a personalized plan uh, to that user. And part of the power of this is that we can, uh, we can match this up to other users. So for instance, uh, maybe this 29-year-old person has a family of three. The family of three all take the surveys. They have different health and dietary needs, but our system is able to combine all of those needs into one meal that the person can prepare for the entire family that meets all of the needs of the family each day. When the university was founded in 2009, it uh, had the support of Google and NASA Ames. Since that time, the, su the support to the university has been increasing, and we have new um, corporate members like uh, Nokia, Cisco, Autodesk, ePlanet Ventures, and many other companies that believe in our mission, uh, which is, again, how to create leaders that know about these technologies to improve human conditions. Uh, we're not looking for any kinds of grants from the government or anything like that. We're definitely you know, all about capitalism and people investing uh, in the future to make the future a better place. And so uh, I don't think we're going to have any problems raising uh, private funding, actually. I think it's a really kick-ass product and we have a really unique uh, value proposition. And so I think that's going to come through. I come from the developing world and now the developing world is leapfrogging thanks to these new technologies. Many parts of the developing world don't have fixed telephone lines. But now they have mobile telephones. The same will happen with electricity. We are going to go from places that have no physical wires with electricity to wireless electricity maybe in as soon as 10 years. Our goal is that PrimerLife.com is going to be launched as a new venture after SU. So we've got a working prototype, we've got a complete business plan, 
We've met with tons of potential partners, advisors, and investors, and we're definitely moving forward. I'm in the energy team project, and the name of our company is Igni Solar. You can check us at www.ignisola.com. We are a, a small startup company just starting out after this program, and we're looking for engineering talent, anyone that has mechanical engineering or AI or computer networking or robotics experience. Please email us at contact at matternet.net. Well, the future is fascinating, and thanks to all these new technologies, we will improve the living conditions of all of humanity, and that is why I'm so excited.